first thing we're going to do is unscrew that end cap and there's a little joker valve in there tiny little joker valve vacuum pipe hitting the sump so you just want it just touching So, just release them, so a twisting motion always gets these off, That's one, that one's a bit looser, that's two. I'm not going to put the air cleaner back on. For the moment because what I want to do is I want to clean out that which is our anti-siphon valve as so that all of our cooling is dealt with in, in one uh, fell swoop. Right so this is our anti-siphon valve and it was actually quicker to take the four screws out rather than try and get those M5 nuts and washers off the back while this was in place so I've taken a whole lot off it's stainless steel so first thing we're going to do is unscrew that end cap and there's a little joker valve in there, tiny little joker valve and with the washing up out the way and the plug in I'm just going to warm run some warm water, ha, some warm water not boiling hot through there that's nice and clean and then the same through the rest And that will just dislodge any salt crystals or any muck that's in there. And then we'll do a quick test. So when I blow in there, what's as, as if the water was flowing, that little joker valve closes and the water comes out the other one. But when I suck, the joker valve opens, air goes in through that little hole there and that stops the water creating a siphon and your boat sinking and that's working fine, that's perfect now that can go back on that is quite literally a two minute job I'll just wipe that off with some towel and it can go back on again but that's how they work So here's our trusty oil extraction pump and this is the end that goes down the dipstick and you need to be quite careful here what you do is to withdraw the dipstick and then push this small end down the dipstick hole until you hear it tap on the sump of the engine and let's see if I can show that and if this is a better angle there's the dipstick hole there I'm just going to push that down keep going until I hear it need a bit more room so that is the end of that vacuum pipe hitting the sump so you just want it just touching like that and then we use the vacuum pump there to suck the warm oil out. So that's Sid's job. You'll see the warm oil now coming through the pipe and into the receptacle. So once that's all the oil's out and in there we can then look at the filters. Okay so as always some clean oil in the top there and this will just flush through any oil that's in the oil ways or sitting in the top while the engine's still warm down to the sump where we can then suck it out. So clean oil in because all the old dirty oil's out flush it down into the bottom of the sump and then we'll suck that out again now before we top up. 
So there's our oil filter and you can see our oil filter has a big magnet on the end and the reason we do that is if there's any metal particles uh, running around in the oil, although they'll be microscopic, we want to keep them in the oil filter. So that's a top tip for you. Now I know for a fact that that oil filter will come off with just some light hand pressure, some turning, um, because when we put it on of course we uh, we put some oil around the flat seal on it and if I've done my job properly it will simply twist off with you know quite a bit of hand pressure but it will just twist off okay now there will be oil come out of there there is no doubt about that you can only empty it down as low as the center hole where the oil goes in and out um, so there will be oil in there some people say put a hole in the top with a screwdriver and leave it 10 minutes to drain down you still get oil come out of the filter but one uh, top trick that you can do one top tip is you can get some pads and put underneath there and we have uh, puppy pads <laughs> so Cindy is preparing one now a puppy pad and we'll just put that underneath yeah, it wants to come up a little bit more, yep. darling. That's it. Now, any oil that comes out of there, drains down, will drip onto that puppy pad. I'll actually, I'll pull it up this side, darling, and be easier. Just like a flat. And the other thing that we have is we have one of these small plastic dishes in front of my knee there. And we're going to put the oil filter straight into there so we don't drip oil all over the cabin sole. And there, that's it. And then put that there. And then, yeah, come on. Let's go in. Let's spin it off quick. And straight into there. So, a couple of things we're going to do before we uh, fit this new filter, and this was uh, £4.99, so I guess that's about $6, 7 euros from the internet, uh, and they're about £16 direct from Volvo, probably made in the same factory, just painted a different colour. So we've got to get some clean oil around this flat seal here, but before we do that, we are just going to print off with our little machine here, a sticker and out it comes and that just tells us the date we put that on the filter so that we know when it was changed we're also going to enter it in the log but uh, you never know it's the next person that comes along and it just might not be me you never know so we'll do that and then we'll screw the filter on so just stick our magnet on the end there and then I'll screw this back on got some new clean oil around there and it's quite literally just hand tight you don't need to do any more than that just hand tight so I'll screw that on now okay so this outer ring here is where that flat seal actually seals against and I'll just put our All seal on there, um, all filter on there. You can see that's just hand tight, no more, doesn't need any more than that. Jobs are good, and now we can fill her up with oil. Okay, so there goes the first litre. Get yourself one of these pouring jugs, it will save you fighting with the oil can. And we know that this takes about three litres of oil. So we'll do two and a half. So that's the second one going in. And there's half a litre going in. So I've deliberately underfilled that 
so that we can get it right on the dipstick. It's going to take a few seconds for that oil to run down, but the engine is still warm. So there we are. I think that's about the right amount. Yeah, it's just slightly, I think you see that, just slightly above the centre mark. And normally you fill between the two marks on the dipstick. No, not to that, it's not a high mark and a low mark. You should be between the two. But we've just put a new filter on and therefore that filter is going to take, I don't know, a quarter of a litre or so um, to fill it up. So when we've run the engine for a, a minute or two, we'll then recheck with the dipstick. But meanwhile, we can just clean up our funnel, put that back in there. Give it a little bit of beans, darling. Okay, let's try that again now. Perfect. Oh, this is our um, oil filler that we use and a piece of cling film over the top with that little bungee around it. That's a top tip to stop you uh, getting dust and muck and that just lives down the side there and then our spare oil is there and um, we've done our schedules, filled our schedules in, put our top up fluids back in there. Uh, that's it, jobs are good.